Hello, my name's Christine Cohen Park and I'm sitting my, in my garden a little week from being on the fourth day of COVID but benefiting enormously from this gorgeous weather and uh, sitting here drinking up uh, the sunshine and um, hoping to be completely on my feet soon. So, what better book to recommend for today than the one who's seen me through the last four days of fever and feeling awful and is really a miraculous book and that is Marilyn Robinson's Jack. I'll show you the cover. Here we go. There we go. Um, Jack is um, the fourth one of what people used to think of as a loosely connected Gilead trilogy, now become the Gilead Quartet, um, by American eminent writer Marilyn Robinson. And um, it, um, they are uh, four books now which uh, tell a story of uh, the families, the connected families of two, um, <coughs> two vicars, two elderly American vicars. And, um, and their, their children, their trials, the way their religious life connects with their emotional life and um, in one of the stories uh, the one that involves Jack <coughs> <coughs> um, Jack is uh, one of six children and he is the ne'er-do-well, uh, he's a beloved son of his father um, and who sort of spends a lot of his life and time hoping that Jack can somehow be brought back uh, to the flock uh, uh, with endless patience and thoughtfulness and despair and heartbreak. Uh, and Jack is that uh, boy, then young man, then man, who has a great deal of charm as a child, but he just, I don't know how to describe him as one of life's losers, as someone who can't seem to find his way in the world that without meaning to uh, can't settle, can't fit in, uh, does harm, causes grief in small ways um, and large to everything he touches and as an adult, as a young adult, he leaves home and uh, goes to another city um, and uh, this book, Jack, is his story firmly and it tells the story he's become really a bum, you know, sleeping rough, uh, drinking, uh, having had a spell in prison uh, and it's about his redemptive love affair uh, with a black girl also a black girl, a teacher, and also the daughter of a minister. Um, everything is wrong with this alliance from the family of the black girl, uh, that he is white, that he looks disreputable, that he, that he is disreputable, he owns nothing, and everything he touches, something terrible happens to and he's got no aspirations 
and no hope really until she comes along and it's um, the tentative beautiful story of um, and the heartache of their relationship. There's a great deal of beauty in the writing. It's, um, uh, it's really, I think, one of Marilyn Robinson, who anyway is one of my writers I most admire. It's um, in some ways most magnificent sort of lucid, liquid, deeply thoughtful, uh, um, amazing books really, um, because she gets so, so close to this character. Perhaps it transforms certainly my view of those sort of people that you sometimes see whose life's gone hopelessly wrong, perhaps begging on the street, and perhaps on drugs, perhaps real no hopers. <coughs> <coughs> and you get so close to the anguish of that life that can hardly turn without doing wrong. Um, it's compassionate and deeply true I think and some of the writing is so exquisite in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep I was reading a part where they they meet because they're both because she has gone to a graveyard a huge graveyard and in her city and has inadvertently stayed late and got locked in and he is there because that's where he sometimes sleeps on the graves and uh, the night that they spend together walking and sleeping and him showing her things about the graveyard and the graves was absolutely stunning 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 so it's a very strong recommendation.